I started at the age of seven in Russia. Uh, right away, dancing became my passion. Uh, I danced uh, almost 20 years there with, with uh, my partner. She decided to go with her husband to States. So I just uh, started looking for a partner and I find the partner here in Canada. I started dancing at the age of three and uh, I was doing ballet. I had all the hopes and dreams in the world to be a professional ballerina. So I graduated from the Quinney Ballet School of Canada and uh, moved to Ottawa for university. And shortly after I started training in Latin and ballroom. The most important thing for me is just uh, to communicate with your partner. We understand each other well, we don't fight, yeah. We, yeah, we work together for our goals. My um, maybe biggest challenge was more sort of just dealing with it on um, sort of mentally believing in myself as much as Misha believed in me. It's so important with any partnership is to have that support and to believe in one another. My biggest uh, thing that I could give to um, young dancers is finding a partner that supports you and believes in you as much as you believe in them. I think it's so important that, because sometimes as dancers, right, we're, we're known to sort of be very critical of ourselves and our self performances. No, we, we can do this. We can kind of work through together and you treat that partnership as one. You know, the training, the talent, it, it just, there's no limit at that point. We're so grateful for our students. I mean, they, wow, six months and they just stuck with us and we taught probably over a hundred classes online and we felt it's so important for them to feel, to continue to feel inspired and motivated, just like us. We renovated our studio because we wanted them to know that we are not giving up on them or dance and we wanted them to, when we, you know, could reopen that um, they really felt, you know, it was a new space, new atmosphere and that they'd be excited, you know, to get back. I would not be surprised, like we, I personally, and I know Misha, like we've talked about it um, for this studio that we have no problem offering hybrid classes until, you know, the end of time. I think it's, that's how the, you know, world is shifting. Um, I think it has a lot of perks, you know, for online training because students really have to go, you know, take the information they're being received from the screen and then really try to figure it out for themselves and their body. Cause we're not right there to kind of help them and say, no, no, this is what you need to do. And I think a lot of students, that's some of the feedback we received that they were pretty like surprised with how much the online training has helped. A woman dancer, right? We're, we're in heels. So it's so important finding those right shoes, even for practice shoes. Um, you know, you want to make sure everyone's different, right? So you have different abilities with your feet. You may be more flexible. You may be less flexible. Ankle strengths. Um, so finding that perfect shoe, you know, that holds your, your foot in place. And so you can continue to dance to your best ability because that's the last thing you want is your shoe. You know, something as important as your shoe to be holding you back from, you know, going all the way through your potential ability because you don't feel secure in them or um, they're not quite comfortable. Especially for beginner dancers, the most important thing is to take the time to try shoes. For example, if you go to someone like Fiona with I Love Dance Shoes and you know that you can be fitted properly and you can have conversations with experts in the industry right there that can set you up with you know a proper shoe so when you're being fitted and um, being explained the type of shoes that you know are your kind of your options there they can also explain sort of the pricing and what the difference is and you're you know paying for not only um, the shoe but kind of that custom time of being properly fitted and you know nine times out of ten if you're properly fitted those shoes are going to last you way longer than for example if you order 
just kind of to try like a cheap pair of shoes and then they either end up breaking or they don't fit properly and then you have to order another shoe anyways you end up how hard do you work exactly well yeah and how much you're training too you know you want a, a good quality shoe so the atmosphere people teachers and i think like we've worked very hard um you know we've got an incredible uh, Latin and standard teachers in here and I've worked very hard too as well to give sort of top training for kids for ballet and jazz too so we want to be a studio that you know can give kids adults um, doesn't matter your age anything that you aspire to do in dancing I think that's what sort of makes us different is, you know, a Latin and ballroom studio that also offers ballet and jazz and we've got the salsa stuff, we've got fun workout, dance workout classes. Well, first of all, I think it's not gonna be, you know, forever. Obviously, COVID will probably stay for a while, but it's not uh, a reason to give up on your dreams. You have to push and try your best and I think to just communicate with your instructor talk to them especially us like we we will do everything we can you know to keep students going because it's like Nisha said don't let this stop your dreams we're all going to come out I think so much stronger yeah. after this you know the dance community is really and wow can you imagine that first competition that's anywhere like it's just going to be a total celebration of dance we, we're all in this together, and I think the dance community is doing remarkable.